I am Dallas, and you guys all loved my video on roasting subscribers' cars. So unfortunately, we're back for part two. Bruh. Yeah, anyways, let's just get straight into it with the... Look, I, I really hope we're not in for another video where it's just clowns with the Mazda 3 thinking there's something special. Let's just move on. Oh, dear God, it is. I, I can't do this. I can't do this. Listen, when people see you and your little Mazda 3 driving around town, they just assume it's the most basic white bitch driving her first car. And now listen, if you all come to me, mm, mm, why was my car in the video? What? How am I meant to know that CX God Racing Gamer 72 wanted me to roast his diesel golf? You should have been following me on Instagram. Damn, man. Let's, let's go. Let, let, let me guess right. Bro went to a scrapyard and, and just just took a photo, you know? We got, we got the clapped out right four over here. We got that piece of shit Merc at the back. And then we got this pile of trash over... No, 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 not that. That! Yeah, that pile of trash. Fuck. Next bro sent me, like, seven photos. And like I said last time, I did not give a fuck after the first photo, and I certainly did not give a fuck after the seventh photo. And he, he sent me as those photos that disappear over time. Bruh. Maybe he didn't want me to realize that's a NA Master 3 and not a Master Speed 3, but... Sure, whatever. I'm gonna be honest though, I can't shit on that guy. Because this next guy sent me not only five photos, but an entire Google album of photos. I have no idea why. Did he maybe want to show me that, you know, the fact that the color of the door doesn't match or the whatever type of quick release that is or the ricer shopping list on the side or the, the bullet hole? The bullet hole! What? So, so, so listen, it's alright. Um, he asked if I if he could send in his Lego car to be roasted. <gasps> sure, why not? Oh, oh alright. His mum didn't let him. <laughs> oh, God. Can we just for a second appreciate the fact that this design went through an entire organization and yet not one motherfucker realized to say, you know what? If I saw this on the street, I would start violently vomiting and swallowing my face. <laughs> you know, guys, maybe we should make a car that, that looks slightly good. Ob obviously not. Whatever. So this next guy actually sent me an exhaust video, so it must sound nice. Let's Let's take a listen. Bruh. Okay. <laughs> and also the, the red tail lights. You know, what a trash idea. Next time we got Nick and he sent in his G35. And I already know what he's saying. Oh no, it's a Nissan Skyline. It, it's not a real Skyline, mate. It's a G35. No, oh, but Nissan called it the Skyline, so it, it's really just a Skyline. Shut the fuck up, you pussy dog. I, I thought Kieran's Altezza from last video was bad, you know, rear wheel drive, 2 litre NA 4 cylinder with 4 speed auto. This is an NA 1.5 litre front wheel drive with a 4 speed auto. That's... So then next, uh, Levi sent in a picture of his Mazda Speed 3... Wait, no. His NA Mazda 3 SP20... Bruh! That was it before. Okay. Another base model 4 speed auto. The first thing I realized about this guy's car was the anime girl air freshener. Um, I'm judging someone right now on a level I've never judged anyone before. Um, look, he, t he told me not to flame him about it, and, and he described it as hot. So we got a good friend of mine, um, Robert, so he started out buying a CL1 Euro S. You know, he's kind of going off the rails, you know, Honda. And then he went and bought a 100 horsepower DC1 Integra. <laughs> He's gone off the rails now. Then an AU Falcon, he's fully lost the plot. And then another AU Falcon, and, and just to, to make it even worse, he bought this. Guess how much he spent on it? <laughs> A lot more than that. M more, more than that. Okay, I'm gonna go. $500. Only spent $500, and he still got ripped off. These next two cars, I'm gonna combine two cars with this one. Can we just appreciate how stupid these dumbass smiley Gen 2s look? Like, 
what the fuck are you smiling about? The fact that you know you're about to drop one thousand dollar bill on your owner because you just blew your turbo for the first time this month. So now the bro Adam sent in his. So it's a, it's a one point eight liter, so it's not an Evo, right? Non turbo, I think. I don't, I don't know. Oh, honestly. I didn't give a single fuck to research, whatever the fuck this thing is, I, I don't give a shit. Uh, classic YouTuber st stuff, um, like, subscribe, um, bang the bell icon, share this to your friends, comment below, follow me on Instagram, um, and watch more of my videos after this, and yeah. So here Cameron sent in his stock black speed 6 with wheels, and then Alex sent in another stock black speed 6 with wheels. And, and then Austin sent in another stock black speed six with, with wheels. Real bloody original you guys are. This guy next, right, he confuses me. So he, he sent me a photo of his car stationary and, and he covered the license plate. Sure, okay. But then he sends me a video of him boosting it down the motorway. And he doesn't cover the, the plate. Next side, this is um sick MPS on Instagram. I'm not sure if he means sick as in oh that's sick, but I'm pretty sure he means sick as in this makes me want to be sick. That's fucking awful. Another fucking naturally aspirated Mazda 3. I fuck with. And and he says it's a Neo, but I swear it gaps, bro. It's pushing like seven wheel kilowatts per wheel. So when the training wheels are on, I gap bros and gape hoes and only get gapped by electric scooters that day and wombats at night. I think that's a motto we can all live by. Inspiration. Nice. So this next guy, he's got a Mazda Speed 3 and an S2000 that's matching. And you know, if this was like him and his girl matching, that'd be so cute. Uh, you know, same color, same wheels. But do you think anyone that owns a Mazda 3 and an S2 gear has anyone uh, to match with? So next, Speed Society, he's also on YouTube, also from New Zealand. Now, um, that bumper. I, I want to try to replicate that expression just to show how punch punchable it looks. But that's shocking. Next up, oh god. No offense, but what is that? I, and, and he sent a message saying, oh, don't hold back. There's really nothing to say about it. It's just dull, it's mundane. It's, this guy, right? He's, he's got those bonnet risers on it. I do not get why people do this. It literally looks like you've been in an accident. And I don't... Why? Why is this a thing? Why does this exist? You guys may remember Will from last episode. We roasted it. And he asked for a better roast. You, you don't get what you ask for. In fact, I, I'm just going to go out and spill the beans that he's about to do something pretty big to his Master Speed 3. He's about to... And just recently, uh, someone sent me in their V6 Commodore to roast. So if you don't know about these things, basically with V6 Commodore, you get the performance of an NA four-cylinder, the sound of a V6, and the running cost of a V8. Get fucking Falcon, mate. And one last submission from last night is this guy's Caldina GT4. All that tells me is that he couldn't drive a manual because if he could, he would have got the generation before this, so he could get a manual, and so you know, oh, but my automatic shifts faster. Your 2003 Slushbox 4-speed does not shift faster than your manual. There's literally zero ways in which a GT4 Auto is better than a manual. But learn how to drive. Luckily, I, I think that's that's it. Um, I can be done with this. But if you do want to see another video of me roasting subscribers' cards, of course, it was part one, so watch that. Um, uh, like, subscribe, uh, bang the bell icon, comment, share this video, follow me on Instagram, share my Instagram page, uh, like my post and comment on my Instagram post, and yeah.